Hey everybody, Slay here. I'm going to be dusting off taking out this F-94D, the Starfire. This is a unique plane in the game. It's a 2-9 multi-roll, but it's unique because it carries the only Gatling gun in the game. It's got a 20mm Vulcan with uh, 3,000 rounds a minute. In real life it was like something like 6,000 rounds a, a minute. Uh, it is just horrendously fun to play. Um, carries rockets on both wings, that's what those pods are sticking out. And it's got the gun kind of just to the right offset in the nose. So it looks like it's me and an attacker uh, versus a player of XF90 and SXU. So with everything, always going to go for the missile base. I'm going to talk to my teammate real quick. It's pretty standard. Um, yeah, they're a platoon. Obviously, uh, I'm not in one, so we'll see how this goes. Right now, it's me and a GA are the only people coming here. Have something coming in off my side. It's the Hornet. It's, this thing's really good at taking out heavies. So, but that Hornet is just so fast. Let me go down to him and listen to that gun. That is a very unique sound, and it just shreds things. Look at this Hornet just disappear. Now, you don't want to hold down the trigger too long obviously because yeah you're gonna overheat too fast I'm gonna try and get some distance between me and these GAs and I'm gonna come down here and try and kill these GAs real quick Let's see how this goes they just captured the military base and well that was like record time I think <laughs> looks like those two GAs came down and they just yeah they did all the work it's fun so, already looking at probably a fun game. Haven't even seen the uh, players yet, but let's just do what we can. As I've said many times, you don't give up. God, this just shreds that IL-40. Looks like the players are starting to filter in now. Here's the XF-90. That's the player. I want to find that F2G, which I think this is him up here. That's yeah, an F6U. So I'm going to go after this F6U up top. Probably gonna regret this, we'll see. Now that you are not a turn fighter, uh, you don't have good turn at all in this thing. Kinda wish I was running uh, with my flight partner, but can't always fly with people, it's all right. Wow, I am getting a lot of lag from these clouds. This is interesting. My screen is just chopping like crazy. I'm gonna have to go through my game settings after this and check out exactly what I did there. So I'm stalling, otherwise I would have got to take out this J7. Feel like I'm gonna have something on my tail any second here. Um, unfortunately, everything I'm killing right here is not in the cap, and I'm not 100% sure what my attacker is doing. Unfortunately, sometimes you just don't get matched up with the best people. Might be a good player, might be just having a crap game. These things happen. Yeah, this lag is making it really difficult to uh, get my guns on something. Yeah, I'm gonna have to back out. Now, there's another Starfire right here. Just ended him, but I'm pretty sure I'm dead. Uh, I've got just way too many things on me. Interesting. Yeah, my attacker is sitting at a thousand score right now. Okay. Fortunately, this plane's not a carry plane. You're not going to be able to go in and be a GA and take everything over. And the fact that they picked up that missile base pretty early, it's probably going to mean a pretty shitty loss in this one. That sucks. Again, still haven't even seen the players the whole game. Myself, well... Nope. The enemy is, launching rockets at us is this him right here? Base. Nope. Take so it looks like they're just following the missiles around. And I mean, it's a surefire thing want to get an easy win, then yeah, take military base, follow your missiles around. But I'm not giving up. I will keep pressing on. Things can happen. We could end up. Our bots could wake up. My player could wake up. Oh no. I'm a little far out to try the rockets out. There it goes. Jeez. That took uh, way too much effort. There's a hornet here. I'm going to ignore him. I'm gonna get on this other Hornet. Um, I have a 
lines on me here. It's gonna be too fast for me to get on him. I'm out of boost, but he's turning on me, so I'll get some shots on him. As you see, this gun's just absolutely devastating. It's like pointing a laser. <laughs> when you're not lagging, it's fun. Unfortunately, when you're lagging, it's not the greatest of playing. Now I have the, uh, looks like he changed planes. Yeah, I guess he changed planes. I'm not gonna be able to outturn him. I could cry for help, but uh, we'll see who, if anybody comes and helps me. Is this the XF90? No, it's a 262. Once your shot, once your uh, shots land, though, you get a good line like that. You just take a peep out. I have a J7W2 that probably wants to kill me. Ow! That thing will just tear you apart. So now we kind of have the advantage. Our missiles are going out. This J7W2 made a mistake, turned in the opposite direction. I was able to go in and kill him pretty easily. I'll come down, I'll hit these GAs. But the only way we're going to win this is if we cap things. So I think I'm going to go help take this cap over here. Something coming in, F94D coming in. Got a S6U up here. I'm going to go kill that. Interesting. I killed him outside the cap, so that sucks. I have something to storm my tail here. I'm trying to get on the spit, slow down so I don't just overshoot him. Fortunately, don't really want to slow down because something's on my tail. It's the player S6U again, and I'm pretty sure I'm by myself over here. Ow, that was that. So we got three caps again, but unfortunately I'm pretty sure we need like superiority. And if you look here in the middle, they're about to take the middle. Well, no, we just killed the, the ground attacker that was on it. So most of our team is focused over here. I'm gonna try and go over here, see if I can flip that real quick, and then the rest of my team can focus on there. A uh, heavy storm here, so maybe I could turn around and kill their players. Um, the other player on my team is dead right now. So I'm going to go in here and just see if we can get over here. We just lost a plane, our F-84B. We just flipped that. That's great. I'm going to go defend middle because that military base is going to be key. Uh, and plus, whatever I kill now is dead. Not having the best game. It's been pretty rough. But here's the S6U. That's the player. Looks like it's him and his partner are here. Let's see if I can get in there quick. Knock out the S6U. But I know it's an F2H. So I'm going to get in here and just try and get right on this S6U. I've got something I should have turned up here and rocketed him real quick. I'm going to try and just fly past and just go straight for Carlos. I want to cap this. He's sitting over the cap now. Um, yeah. So probably should have turned back and defended, but it's Squall. I want to take him out. If I could take him out, we could easily turn this around and win. So I'm going to just use my gun, and there he goes. He's out for the rest of the game. And they just flip us a little. Ouch. So i do a little fancy maneuver in here, kill this Hornet real quick. And we just flip that. Yes, we just flip that. Showing red, but on the map it's blue. I've got some nasty things on me. I'm going to try and do some maneuvering and get on them. Um, yeah. F-84, if I can take him out, it's going to make this a lot more comfortable. They're about to win right now. They had missile base. Uh, that sucks. There's that J-7W-2 from earlier. My aim's a little off. He's a goner. They have four players left total. Um, I'm going to see if I can turn around. Actually, we just took missile base. 
they have two players left. They have this aisle 40. The other one, unfortunately, is all the way across the way. But if our guys can flip this in superiority this fast, then we may have a chance to win. I'm going to get on this guy. I'm going to try and rocket him, so I'm going to get behind him. I'm just going to hit him with some uh, rounds first. This is going to be a little iffy rockets. And I totally messed up. Oh, got him. Enemy is almost defeated. Make a final so now the only way we could win is uh, by taking this. 783. Shape up. This is we can get here man. and cap this. This is it. And it looks like we may be able to superiority. 780. Great job today. We just won. We'll uh, the the last bot died. Home. Wow. That was an amazing game. And this is again, as I said, time and time again. This is why you don't give up. I know it looked super gloom in the beginning there. They were up by, what, three quarters? And holy moly, that was a tense game. But that was fun. So let's go back to the hangar talk about this plane. You guys got to see a little bit what this plane can do. Uh, you guys got to see the Vulcan in action. It does overheat quite a bit, but you just lay off that trigger, do some bursts, and you can uh, definitely end things pretty fast. You got to see the rockets at the end, and we're gonna go talk about why these rockets are better than the German rockets. Um, so yeah. That was a good game, and a uh, shout-out to the players who I was facing. I faced you guys before. You're always good. Um, unfortunately, XF90, man, I didn't get to see you, like, the whole game. But, uh, yeah, sounds like uh, that was a good time. That was awesome. Holy moly. Very, uh, very happy with the turnout there. It's always nice when you can win literally at the last second there. They had maybe two more ticks, and they were going to take that one home. All right, so I made 105,000 credits uh, with 11,800 for a double. I had 1320 mastery, which is good, but I had next to nothing for capture and attack, only 120 each. So that kind of, you know, it's really low. It kind of sucks. Um, let's see here. So as for team score, yeah. Termin or Trendator, thanks for being on the team, man. Uh, you must have just had a bad game. And if you look over here, you know, they had an equally bad game, so it sucks to be them. Anyways, moving on. So, as I said, this thing has one Vulcan. I don't know if you can see it's six barrels there, but it's just a beautiful, beautiful gun, uh, as you saw there. It's got that very unique sound. It's the most modern gun in the game. Um, it's similar to the 20 mils that are used on today's uh, Air Force fighters right now. So it's just a really, really good gun. Uh, here we have the rocket pods, and man, you saw, once those rockets hit something, they just disappear. And let's go into why that is. So if you look at the damage on these rockets, they're 400 damage each with a 20, 30 radius. Now the average rocket, let's go look at the, the rockets on, say, the German, even the tier 10. Let's look at the tier 10 German rockets, these R4Ms. These are the same rockets that are on almost every German uh, plane. Only 200 damage, so they're half the damage, and the damage radius is only 25. So not only does the F-94 get double the damage on rockets, it gets five more radius, which actually makes a huge difference. Um, it's just a really, really good aircraft. I'm actually thinking about running uh, the rocket equipment on this, or maybe the rocket skill on my pilot next. I'll have to uh, figure it out. Expert Rocketeer, I've heard it get recommended highly. Uh, but I also want marksmen, so I mean, I'm going to have to grind this pilot out a lot. So let's go into the gun real quick. So your mid-tier gun on this plane is 420s, which are similar to the ones that is on the F7U. And actually, it's the exact same guns on the F7U. So somehow, you go from 420s to this one single 20mm Gatling gun. And just look at the DPS uh, change. So DPS on those 20 mils. Uh, in the mid tier is 180 times that by four uh, you're still under the 800 dps range and the rate of fire is only 600 then you get to this one single vulcan and it's got 800 dps with 3000 rate of fire and it says effective fighter range uh, 820 obviously in real life these numbers are <laughs> way padded down um, again i think it's more like 6000 rounds a minute in history but yeah uh, that was the f94d the Starfire. Um, it's one of my favorite planes. Uh, grinding out the F7U was a joke because I got to play this plane. Uh, it's one that I'm going to always keep because that gun just makes it very unique. It's not the best turner, 
But uh, yeah, thanks for watching my video. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Take care.